Hey Footprinters, Chrissy here. Um, wow, what a very interesting week. <laughs> um, with the read, with the hearings and stuff. I know I did a reading on Friday, oh, yesterday, yesterday, Saturday. It's Sunday the 24th of November here. So, um, yeah, I did a reading yesterday about Bolton what will he do and whether or not there'll be any more hearings and I don't think Bolton will be the only person fronting up um geez, where to start I think we should start with Devin Nunes <laughs> and um well he was talking he was in the loop about this Ukrainian thing with Rudy Giuliani and and Lev Parnas and all that, um, which means that really he should not be sitting on the committee he's on. I'm going to do an overview for him. I'm going to use the classic right away for him. Um, so I'll give it a... What is, <laughs> what is in the cards for Devin Nunes? Okay. I'll do a five carder, no six carder with a challenge. So I'll do that. So just a six card cross with a so what's going to happen with Devin Nunes. Okay, Devin Nunes, Devin Nunes, what's going on with Devin Nunes? I've got quite a few things I want to cover, so I'm going to try and get it all done in one longer video. So, okay. Devin Nunes. Okay. Ace of Wands. New actions. Hand of God. <laughs> um, he's opened himself up to new action. Um, sitting on a committee he really has no business sitting on. Um, so, let's have a look. So. Situation for Devon. Oh, money. Money makes the world go round. The world go round. Ah. He's worrying about money. Something about money coming out. Hmm. It's also a card of legacy, but there's something about money. It is a 10, so it could be leading to an end of a cycle for him, the end of something for him. But he's definitely worrying about money. Okay, I'll, I'll talk up a bit, sorry. Uh, what's challenging him about at the moment? Oh, challenging him is five of pentacles. Um, being turfed out of that committee on his ear, at least out of those hearings on his ear, they might have to replace him. The Republicans might have to replace him. And he, that's a challenge for him. He, really worrying about that. That's a, a challenge for him. It's a challenge for the Republicans as well. What's in his past that's led up to... Uh, a messenger. This is Lev. Lev Parnas. Um, 
bringing the news that Devin Nunes really shouldn't be on that committee. Um, and I reckon he'd be ready to go and really spill the tea on everything. And this is Devin uh, Lev Parnas with news about what Devin Nunes knew, talking with Rudy and everything, what he knew about this in the, in the past. What's hanging over his head? Oh, that's not looking too good for Devin Nunes. This is hanging over his head, the devil. Wow. That's not too good. Yeah, not looking too good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hanging over his head. What's underlying everything? Knight of Wands. Action. Offers. Offers to of action from somebody. Somebody bringing an offer. Um, or maybe, yeah. Or he's thinking about what he has to do, what action he has to take as well. This is one of the two fast moving knights. It's not as fast as the Knight of Swords, but it is very, it's still a very fast moving knight. I think he's thinking very, very, he's going to have to make up his mind very, very soon about what he's going to do. And I think he's maybe been given an offer by somebody. What's in his immediate future? Defending himself. Hmm. Defending himself. Building up his defences. He is going to be embattled. He's not going to like it. Having to answer for not disclosing that he actually <laughs> knew about and possibly even participated in this Ukrainian scheme to some extent. Um... That look on his face the other day, that's nothing to what it's going to be in a little while. Um, I'm going to do a couple of clarifiers. I'll do a couple of clarifiers on the devil. I'll do a clarifier on the devil. Hanging over his head. What's hanging over his head? This is what's underlying his actions at the moment. An offer, maybe. What's hanging over his head? Way, Queen of Swords. He's bedeviled and he's called... To me, the Queen of Swords is always justice or investigators calling someone forth to answer for their actions. What's underneath? Ace of Cups. Oh, I pulled two cups. And the Empress. Devin Nunes, if I'm right, he's from California. His, his constituents aren't going to be happy with him. They, they, I think they're going to want to um, want him to go. Overflowing emotions. They're going to be really, really pissed off. And I think there's a hell of a lot more more possibilities of stuff coming out about him. So let's do a clarifier on the embattlement conflict and the high priestess. More secrets are coming out, are going to be coming out about him. He's really going to be in a situ in a bad situation. He's going to be battling and fighting in battle. His constituents are really, really pissed off. This isn't the new potential for new relationships, Ace of Cups. This is the cup overflowing with emotion. 
and the establishment of a new relationship between him and his constituents. And the rest of America, the voters in America, they're not happy either on hearing this. This is America. This is all the American voters. This is his constituents and possibly even his relationship with some of the people in his party who the minority leader might not be very happy with him having learnt that he really shouldn't be sitting where he is. Okay. That is Devin Nunes, the immediate future. Isn't looking too good for him. Um, I'm going to ask the question. Is Devin Nunes going to get kicked off the Intelligence Committee? Is Devin Nunes going to get kicked off the Intelligence Committee? Is Devin Nunes going to get kicked off the Intelligence Committee? Let's have a look. One, two, three. Three of Wands. <laughs> That's a yes. Strength, that's a yes. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a no, but two yeses. Three of Wands, Strength. He shouldn't be there. Him being on the Intelligence Committee for these hearings is... He's not doing the honourable thing. He's not doing the right thing. You know? I think there's plans with the Republicans in the House to maybe ask him to step down from it. Because I think the case against him and the case for him to step down is going to get very, very strong, a lot stronger. That's Devin Nunes. Um, next off on the block, and I'll just pause this and pair a new check uh, deck is <laughs> Mike Pompeo. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to use a new deck. This is the Annie Libri or Annie Labri Tarot. Um, beautiful and colourful. Now, next up of the ring, I'm going to do an overview. I, I like the overviews, and um, so I'm going to do an overview with, um, now, with the release of those documents through Freedom of Information to American Oversight, showing a pretty, pretty almost direct straight line from Pompeo's to via Madeline Westerhall, Westerhall or whatever her name was to the president about the Ukrainian stuff um, yep what's going to happen with Mike, Mike Pompeo so let's have a look what's going to happen with Mike Pompeo let's have a look at an overview with him um, I <laughs> Seem to get get a few more subscribers every day, so for new subscribers, welcome. Um, yeah. So. Whippy, be quiet. Good boy. And little doggy. My little doggy, Whippy. So. Okay, Mike Pompeo. What's going on with Mike Pompeo? Somebody's going to get up in his face. Nancy Pelosi in Congress. Oh, boy. He's going to have some questions to answer, and I don't think he's going to be able to avoid it. Let's have a look. Hang on. I'm just going to... 
okay and, and yeah, this is a t-shirt i picked up yesterday from uh, one of the markets here in perth called malaga market so if you're in perth um <sighs> go to the malaga markets if you like it the guy steve he's a lovely guy uh, known him for a long time and um we're down the northern end of the market okay the t the place where it, and this is one of steve's this is an original design by steve so yeah um so if you're in the perth area and you like the t-shirt he's got some other original designs as well so, anyway mike pompeo oh you know what i just started shuffling i just lost my well it must have been meant to be eight of cups on the bottom now so that before we had the queen of wands nancy um now we have eight of cups wow congress walking away i wonder if he's going to be leaving <laughs> let's have a look what's happening i'm gonna do a, a seven card overview okay so the situation in general at the moment oh look at that well there's some secrets coming out well aren't you just so surprised um yeah just so surprised Hmm, secrets coming out. And this flower, a lot of flowers, they, um, most flowers only bloom during the day, but this flower looks like it's blooming nice and bright. Under okay, so I'm back. I just had to empty the, the camera. Um, so Mike Pompeo, things are coming to light and, um, yeah look at this this is nice and bright and red there's no way it can be missed whatever the light is shining on it's gonna really things are really gonna get difficult for him and you can see that's reflecting underneath it from in the moonlight only part of what's gonna what there really is is gonna show there's more there's more to find out so yeah so what's his current influence at the moment <laughs> five of coins <laughs> out in the cold in the newness have both got the five of coins the out in the cold card uh he's trying to... trump isn't happy about this, these papers being released and pompeo is trying to keep in his good books he's trying to he's he's worried about being out and Run out in the cold. Um, wet bee! Sorry about that. Okay. What above him? What's hanging above him at the moment? The Ace of Cups. New relationships, overflowing emotion. I think this is more news about the. Um, forging a new relationship. Overflowing emotion. This is new news about, really, yeah, people are just, the more and more these Republican stuff up, the more and more angry people are getting. There's two, two lilies here. As long as the lily here. You know, this this is more news about relationships, about other relationships. Um, this is not so much him forming new relationships, but news about relationships that we didn't know about, or that people didn't generally know about, I think. That's hanging over him at the moment. What's in his immediate future? Oh, the Five of Swords. You know, Nuna's got that too. No honour. Um, doing whatever it takes to cover up for the president. He's still going to be scurrying around. Doing whatever it takes to 
you know, get over this bump in the road. But this has got stormy weather, rain, clouds. It's quite a bit of a dark and gloomy card. So it's, um, yeah, you're going to do whatever it takes to try and win. But it's, it's not looking good. What's underneath the whole situation for him at the moment? The two of wands. Overseas connections. <laughs> what he knows about overseas connections. He doesn't want to think about it. He doesn't want to think about it. What he knows about overseas connections. What he knows about the whole thing. It's just... Well, it's at the bottom of everything, isn't it? Trump trying to establish dominion over other leaders. Leaders from other countries. That's at the bottom of everything. So, again, overseas relationships and trying to establish, establish dominion. What behind Pompeo? Um, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Fulfilling the wishes of the president. That's what's in the past here. Their action, his actions in the past to fulfill the wish of the president. He didn't officially sanction Rudy Giuliani, Pompeo. But <laughs> he didn't tell him no, he couldn't do it. because he wanted to fulfill the wishes of the president. <sighs> What's the next step for Pompeo? Oh, this isn't the sunshine, lollipops and rainbow sun. This is the, this, this sun, you can see the, the blazing rays are coming down and you can see the grass is getting warmer and warmer it look, to me it, it's like this grass is going to catch on fire at any moment more stuff's going to come out and it's going to be pretty explosive and possibly cause a grass fire in the state department um let's have a look at his current influences <laughs> the queen of swords Hello, he's had word. You are going to have to go and answer questions. And let's have a look at the next step for him. The Ten of Cups. He's going to try and talk to the rest of the Republican Party to find out what he can do. But this is a 10. You remember 10s can be the end of a cycle. Um, I don't think he's long for the position of Secretary of State. Um, let's have a, a, a clarifier on the sun in the next step. Six of coins. Sharing. Spilling the tea. But there's also something about money as well. Jesus, these people never learn, do they? It's always, you know, at some point in their cards, money always makes an appearance, even if it's just a minor appearance. Let's have another look at the Ace of Cups overriding them, overriding his situation. The Two of Cups, yeah, that just confirms that partnerships, partnerships with somebody, relationships with somebody. It's really hanging over his head at the moment, the partnerships he's made and the relationships he's made. This is the, the unofficial partnership with Rudy, I think. And this is... This, this is his... Those officials at the State Department who have spent decades building careers and serving their country, they're not happy. They're, they're, they're overwhelmingly upset pissed off and angry um yeah because of this unofficial partnership with rudy that pompeo's sanction wow 
I'm going to do a yes, no with Pompeo. Is Pompeo out the door? Is he, okay. Is he going to be fired or resign as Secretary of State? Is Pompeo going to retire or be fired or resign as Secretary of State? Will Pompeo be fired or resign as Secretary of State? star yes the devil no seven of pentacles maybe a yes and a maybe outweigh a no even if it is a major and one of the yeses is a major arcana um yeah he's leaving um so he will either be fired or resign because I asked one or the other so yes one of them is going to happen and no the other isn't so um, it's going to bring hope to people when he goes people are really going to start assessing what he's done while he's been in office how he's been running the department I think there's going to be a really good investigation about his leadership at the time. And he's definitely, when he leaves, he's going to be really, really bedeviled. So Mike Pompeo is not looking too good. Okay, now, next off the rank. I'm wondering if they're going to call in Madeline Westerholt. Westerholt? Westerholt? Um, you know, the Trump's PA who got fired a few weeks back? Um, I wonder if they'll subpoena her or if she's going to testify. Because I, you know, I, I, in that reading I did, there was definitely more, um, More witnesses coming forward. I wonder if Madeline is going to be one of them. <sighs> you know, so we'll have a look. I'll have a look. So I will get another deck and have a quick look at Madeline Westerhall. Okay. okay. Next cab on the wink is Mad Madeline Westerhall. Will she testify? Will she testify? Oh. This fell out? The world? I think especially since her name came up in those documents, I think she might be feeling like the eyes of the world are on her. No, in the wake of those documents being released, will Madeleine Westerholt, Westerholt, Westerhouse, Trump's former PA, testify to Congress? Let's have a look. Will Trump's former PA, Madeleine, testify to Congress? Will she testify to Congress? Okay, let's have a look. Turn that upside down. So, circles of support. Um, <laughs> if she does, she's going to feel like she has a lot of support to do that. Those around her will support her. And I like this. This little angel is falling out and he's spilling the tea. So that's, I think that if she does, she's really going to have a lot of support around her um, to do so. <laughs> I'll do a, a six-carder. So, the situation. Will she testify? Well, at the moment, she's in pretty... Maybe she might have had to sign a non-disclosure agreement or something, but that's not valid. 
which they've already found out that they can't really hold its employees to that for the White House, um, especially if it involves national security. Um, she's she's sitting back relaxing and she's quite comfortable where she is at the moment. Um, so at the moment she's not really thinking about much except enjoying, you know, a relatively comfortable light. She's been out of the spotlight since she left. What's the challenge to that? King of Wands. Challenge to that. That is Adam Schiff. That's what popped into my head when I first saw it. He really wants to talk to her. <laughs> so that's going to be a challenge for her. What's what's behind her? What, what's in the past with her? The Empress. She knows so much. There is so much that she can tell. Um, she just... The possibilities of what she could tell are just boundless. I mean... She was the man's PA since he started in the in the presidency. What's in front of her? Hope to start. She's got some hope. She's feeling hopeful about something. Um, it's interesting because this star this star card it has one for action. And the sword for thoughts, words, legalities. So in, in, in front of her, I think she's got a few legal things to deal with, but she's hopeful about it, about the outcome. So what's at the bottom of all this for her? She's building her defences, the nine of wands. She's even though she's sitting back and she's comfortable now, she still feels like she has to be prepared for battle. You know, this person is putting up a barrier. And, but, yeah. He, he's not wounded or anything, but he's ready to go into battle again. So she is, I think, I think she knows she's in a good position she doesn't really want to go talk to Schiff, but I think underneath it all, if she knows that if she has to, she's, she's subconsciously, I think, preparing herself for battle. But I think she's going to have to prepare herself for battle if she hasn't. Now, what is the future outcome for her? A difficult journey. Crossing a bridge. Taking the action. One of auction, crossing the bridge. Which is waving a wand. Yeah, a diff it's going to be difficult for her, but I think she is going to actually end up testifying. Let's have another look at that. The Ace of Swords, yep. Yeah. She is going to testify and she's going to tell the truth as far as she can. I'm sure there's something she can't discuss, but with what she can discuss, and I think she can discuss stuff with the Ukrainian, but it's not going to be easy for her. They're going to make life hell for her if she, if, if she does indeed um, testify. The Republicans, that is. Um... Yeah, let's have a look more about building the defences as well. This is the Nine of Swords. Yeah, she's really, really anxious. She's very anxious. But Nines are also nearing the end of a cycle. She's got three Nines here. So I think... I think she's coming. She's approaching the end of her journey with... The Trump presidency, and I think it's going to be her testifying. Um, so we'll wait and see what happens with Madeline. Um, I certainly don't wish her any harm. She's pretty young, um, only 27, 28, or something. 
and you know she had the misfortune to work for someone who really probably wasn't really worth much working for anyway um i'm gonna pause this and then i'm gonna do three quick cards for trump for this week okay this coming week okay i am back i'm gonna do a few quick cards um to look at donald trump in the last week of december no november last week of november sorry so let's have a look at what the next week is holding for him okay so we'll just shuffle a couple more times i love these cards they're quite big though so. oh what came flying out Page of Swords, disappointing news, and I think this is disappointing news for Trump. I'll just put that aside, eh? A couple more. I wonder if that's to do with... Because it's been at least a week now since Justice Robert put the 10-day hold on things. Hmm. Oh, this week for Trump. Look at that. Hmm. Another brick falling off. Remember, I, for a long time it was like the under, the foundation. Well, now it's starting to crumble. Another tick. Another brick tumbling off the off the floor, off the tower. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so we'll do Ace of Wands. New actions. New investigations. Yeah, I I think this is this is not him taking those actions or investigations. It is Congress. There, <laughs> with all this paperwork coming out. Yeah, they haven't finished. There's going to be more hearings. Six of Wands. He's for some reason. He still feels like he's going to be victorious in all this. So he's feeling a little. He, he, he despite this, he still feels like. I'm I'm the victor and and spread the message fine well. I think maybe actually I think this might be him him going to some more rallies um you know spreading the message of how wonderful Trump is. I think that might be him and also him saying, "Oh, you know, they can't get me. There's nothing to get blah blah blah." Ten of swords during the week. Oh, stabbed multiple times in the back. Who could that be? Well, it could be. It's the disappointing news. And look at the lady. Long, young, long, dark hair. Younger person, long, dark hair. Hmm. Maybe Madeline will testify. Let's have another look. Let's have a look. A bit more of a look. I'm going to... A few more minutes. Okay. King of Swords. Adam Schiff. This is Adam Schiff. <laughs> the lead investigator. He's got has he got news for Trump? <laughs> Two of Cups. New partnerships. News about partnerships coming out. Oh, I wonder what partnerships that could be with. There's news about partnerships coming out. Page of Wands, more news, more messages. This is the orator, again, the orator. Um, delivering news. I still think all these dark-haired young ladies are Madeline. The Nine of Pentacles, he's not going to be, he's been feeling like he's been sitting pretty, uh, but that's, maybe not starting not to feel that way too much five of cups he's going to be feeling some loss hmm disappointment regret and loss wow um, three of swords heartbreak and betrayal yep it wouldn't surprise me if madeline Testified. The tower. Let's have a look at what's on the bottom. 
Ooh, the chariot. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen fast. And it's going to be victory for someone, but not him. The Queen of Cups. Loss of emotion. He's going to need medication. Whenever I talked about Trump and Queen of Cups comes out, it's about him needing medication. And the world. The end of the journey. Wow. last week of November is not look necessarily looking too good for the trumpet. Um, this is a quick whirlwind one. Well, no, it's actually a bit longer. So I'll be joining two videos together. Um, but yeah, that is what's happening. And at least according to my interpretation of my cards. Thank you again, Footprinters. I love you all. And I'll see you at the next reading. Bye-bye.